The support plays a really important part on campus because it provides a space for people to connect and relate to one another. I think the campus can be really lonely at times or even stressful and it's kind of a place where I'm able to I think express my Latinidad and my and how I identify in like a safe space where I know people will be welcoming and will accept me for who I am and the experiences that I, that I have coming from California and coming from a Mexican household. I believe I'm in somewhat of an interesting situation with Sabor because um, I am, although Sabor is such a pan Latinx community, um, I myself do not identify as Latino whatsoever. And so I have somewhat of an interesting interaction in terms of um, what I bring to the team and like my um, connection to the team. So the reason I joined the team to begin with was because of dancing. I grew up as a dancer. And my only real exposure to Latinx culture was Mexican culture um, when I grew up in Southern California. But even then that was um, limited to the food for the most part. So upon coming to Colombia, there was quite a big culture shock for me to join such a unifying pan Latinx community that came together through dance, which was an avenue that I grew up with and I knew as well. And so that pan Latinismo was almost an extension to inclusivity of the music because that music, knowing those integral rhythms, those beats, those the claves, the singuillos, the, all those um, significant and culturally ingrained musical elements that are so universal across these cultures to come together to form such a community is really um, something that I have kind of grown and taken away as a member of Sabor while not being Latinx. And so that's something that I very much appreciate. So perhaps it's just my like biased opinion because I've been on the team for so long, um, but I see Sabot as having like an incredibly integral role on campus. Uh, the team provides a space for students, like Latinos and like non-Latinos, um, to dance and connect with people who share similar interests um, and our backgrounds. Um, and it really does a great job of creating a sense of family for both members and friends. Um, and I feel like the team reaches beyond the students as well. Um, like there's a huge Latino population of Columbia staff and we constantly receive like friendly greetings or compliments by those who just happen to be walking by. And it's a great feeling. It's just like they're giving you like a nod of approval, like, I see you. which means basically that a group united is stronger, I mean, can never be defeated, um, which I think speaks a lot to how we operate as a team. And we close out every practice by saying that, we open every practice by saying that. Um, and basically we just strive to reinforce this idea that everybody on the team is valuable and that and as much as we are a performance group, we're also a cultural group. So um, it's important that we acknowledge all identities and that we work together to make our performance and our place on this campus um, as meaningful and as strong as possible. So the question is, is the music that we dance to in Sabor um, representative and inclusive of all Hispanic culture or is it more nuanced? Um, I think the music that we dance to um, includes a really great balance on what's modern and more popular as well as sticking to um, Hispanic roots and identity. Um, there have been pieces that we that I've been a part of that have been very much um, influenced by popular music nowadays and there have been pieces that I've done that have been very traditional. Um, just last year we did a Colombian cumbia and that was new to me because I had never danced that before and I think that that was something unique on Sabor um, that a lot of people, specifically Colombian people, could identify with. 
Um, and while it's not entirely inclusive, um, I think the board does a really great job of trying to incorporate different styles of dance and generally very open about it. Um, as long as someone's um, fit to choreograph it, I feel like we're very open to it. a piece um, to a merengue version of Walk It Out by um, like a popular 2000s artist, Unk. Um, and I think that that really speaks to the kind of crossover appeal that Sabor has and our ability to take um, contemporary music that is not necessary, necessarily Latin, but to transpose it into our own cultural style. Um, so the merengue piece is basically a fusion of traditional movements, but also like incorporates hip hop and vernacular dance um, that represents both sides of my culture. I mean, my mom's side is Puerto Rican and my dad's side is from the American South. So I think that a lot of people on the team have a similar background to me where there's a cultural fusion of ideas and sounds and we want that to be reflected in our movement as well. Um, I think music impact is super important to the way that we on the team interact. Um, coming from California, I was only exposed to um, mostly Mexican people. I've never been like in, I guess I didn't really know too many like Dominican people, Puerto Rican people, like any, any other type of Latinidad before coming to campus. And coming to campus, I found that music was the one thing that was able to connect all of us and gave us the ability to relate to one another, share our experiences with each other, and I think just provide a safe space for all of us. Uh, like I was saying, uh, being Mexican, I was only exposed to specific types of music such as cumbia and more like banda. I think here coming coming here was the first time I heard like a lot of bachata and salsa. That wasn't something that I was used to, and I think it just widened my like my understanding of Latinidad and how. It impacts everyone differently and what that does for all our experiences here at campus and I think it creates a culture where we can express ourselves and be ourselves.